YouTube, what's up, man? This is a gameplay video from Weekend League. I played 50 games of Weekend League this weekend. So you weren't watching live Saturday night, Friday night, Sunday night, man. Make sure you hit that link below, twitch.tv, to make sure you're tuning on to live action. You can see all the wins, all the sweats, all the turn up, everything that's involved in a stream. Also, man, what I want you guys to do is follow these social medias. Uh, everything's been booming. We are moving in to Madden 21 and just keeping that momentum. I appreciate all the support y'all have been showing me on these gameplay videos, and that's why they watch, man. Also, just like this shirt right here, this physicality shirt, I also put up two brand new shirts on the Needed Gaming Store website, man. That link is below. Make sure you go ahead and cop it. For watching this video, man, if you type in the code at the end of your checkout, YouTube, you get 25% off your entire order. So no matter what you get, whether it's the We Are Madden shirts uh, or it's, you know, some of the needed gaming merch, 25% off that. But like I said, this was Weekend League. So you know what we do before this before this video pops off. I'm going to take a look at my team real quick. One big addition to the team was P. Willie. I did grab that Patrick Willis, that 99 Patrick Willis. There he is right there. I use this card art because... That's the best card art for me. I, I I think it's just that's just uh, that's the best looking card art. One of the best features in the game they added is that we can change the card art. So this is one I choose. So let's take a look. P. Willie, 98 speed. I actually sold my Troy Palomalu middle linebacker golden ticket for P. Willie. One I probably made 700 800k. And P. Willie a little more physical. I'm not going to activate any of my linebackers. So you know, they're all going to play the same. They're not going to jump for footballs, as you're going to see in this video. They're not going to, uh, you know, really do anything outrageous. So, you just want the more physical player. You got that 95 block shed, 98 hit power. I mean, Patrick Willis has been just a dominant player in Madden for years. Um, and, and glad to have him in the game this year, really. So, I'm going to run Shazier and Patrick Willis at middle linebacker. Both 98 speed. Both absolutely demonic the way they play the run and you know that that's what you need in weekend league and you'll see this game uh the run was pretty much a problem i mean that's if you guys can stop the run in weekend league you can do good and that's pretty much what it's about uh the like i said i've told you guys this pretty much every video only card i'm waiting on is that sean taylor to play strong safety for me now i have golden ticket taylor mays and calvin johnson activated i use those guys at linebacker and pass defense and safety and run defense uh, in 3-4, they play safety. And in uh, pass defense, they play linebacker. So I can use it in a lurker. Over here, we have Miles Garrett. He is my D-tackle. People always ask me during the videos, what do I have on Miles Garrett? Um, I will show you guys the abilities that I use. Uh, one, Unstoppable Force has pretty much been the same all year. Pass Rush Elite, I, I feel like it's the only pass rush chem you need. You don't need a double stack pass rush chems. That's all you need. Enforcer to hit stick people. Uh, not only if he block sheds right away and hit sticks on a inside zone. Sometimes if you're running a stretch, right, and somebody runs outside, then they want to slow down, kind of cut back across the middle. Here comes that D tackle that was blocked earlier, and boom, out of nowhere, hit sticks. Uh, I feel like if you have four abilities, Enforcer has to be one. Run Stopper, I love it. I think it works good. Um, that's what I use in Secure Tackler. Why Secure Tackler? Sometimes Secure Tackler gives you that reach ability to reach out and grab people. Uh, so those are the abilities I use on Mr. Miles Garrett. Uh, like I said, and on both of my safeties, I have Acrobat, Lurker, Universal, and Enforcer. I don't have any any tackling chems. If I were playing a hundred thousand dollar tournament, I would have tackling chems instead of acrobat. But I just love the way Calvin and, and Taylor Mays go after the ball with acrobat and everything. So that is the defense I want to put out here. I, I really feel like all I'm waiting for is that Sean Taylor uh, to take Night Train spot, and then Night Train will play the slot along with Mike Evans. Um, but let's go ahead and get into this gameplay. It was a good game. Like I said, uh, played 50 games a weekend league this weekend, and this was one of the best. All right, so we're playing this game against the Giants team. And for me, um, every time you play the Giants, every time you, you know, play against anybody that's a Giants fan, Cowboys fan, you just got to beat them. That's just how I feel. And Moss, we put him out the first play. He runs four people at him. So we hit that in route over there to Julio Jones, get a nice little 23-yard gain early in the game. I uh, hand off to Walter Payton there, just trying to do my audibles, get everything set. 
Next play, look for a blast. Look for a hole. Really don't find anything, man. I like this New Orleans playbook. That's what I'm using. If you guys want to check out the uh, ebook, it is at manturf.com. That link is below. So make sure you guys check that out, man. But uh, first drive, we're going down the field pretty good. Now, your first drive, a lot of times, man, is a field-out drive. Like, what is your defense? What's your defensive call? What do you like running? This guy was primarily every play covered three. And it takes probably to the second or third drive that you realize, man, this is it's just cover three every play as I missile in this corner route for the touchdown on that cover three. Linebacker's not going to play a corner route without an ability. You can pretty much throw at his face all day. But we got underneath a Jalen Ramsey there. Nice little swerve. Get my feet in there with Julio Jones. There it is. Miles Garrett. Enforcer, run stopper. And there he, oh, almost blocks you there. He goes for Moss. This is what I do. I move away from the receiver and then come back and swat the ball. What you want to do is you want to detach yourself from that two that one-on-one animation. That's how I stop Moss. That's how I stop Double Me. You don't want to be stuck in that animation. If you're right next to the receiver, you'll be stuck in that animation. So I take my user, take my DB, swerve outside, and come back and try to meet him at the top at the highest point of the football. Now, it doesn't work all the time, but if you stay in that animation, you will get you'll get put in a Moss animation, give up a huge play. So that's what I do to try to avoid getting Moss, as they say. Uh, and like I said, just trying to establish him. We're up through. We're up 7 nothing. Points here is pretty much... Uh, in control of the game. Now, when I start mixing in this out route, that's when I start realizing, dude, he's really just in cover three every time. And the curl route's another great little dot against cover three. Uh, little play, ooh, little read option there. Michael Vick got somehow the enforcer found me. Uh, once again, we're gonna hit this little baby in this baby hitch underneath. Pick up a couple yards, man. Five for five so far. Mixing in the run, giving the ball to Walter Payton, giving the ball to Michael Vick. Uh, that's pretty much what what it's about on, on Mutt, man. I feel like Mutt offense is hard. You just got to take what they give you. We get to a second and eight here. Going for the corner route. Swerve underneath. Get, get that big body of Julio Jones. Catch the ball at his highest point. Next play, we're going to dump it underneath. Little hitch. We are closing in. Two-minute warning. Little blast. It is third and goal right here. We're going to look for this wheel route over here to Walter Payton. But he can't get his feet in perfectly. What I did here is I did not move my arrow when I kicked. And I tried to overcompensate for that, and we missed even worse. So, it's hard being a streamer sometimes, man. Sometimes you're looking at the chat, sometimes you're reading, sometimes you're talking about other topics, and uh, just forgot to move that arrow, started my kick meter, tried to overcompensate, but went a little bit too far. And right here, this is when he gets in his demon, I'm going to no huddle runs to Walter Payton. Now, Walter Payton kind of killed me this game. I'll be honest, guys. Walter Payton, I, I mean, I feel like he's a golden ticket running back. He has 99 everything, human joystick, uh, and I believe he has evasive. And he was just, just absolutely geeked running back. So if you don't have Walter Payton, probably pretty cheap now. I don't know who you guys are using a running back. As we see Miles Garrett, the absolute horse in the middle of my defense, just balling for me. Uh, he tries to run here. Now, this is smart by him. I probably could have called a timeout here, but I didn't want him to need a touchdown. I, and he milked enough clock to where I'm not going to have any time to do something after he kicks his field goal. So pretty smart clock management by him, but I was okay with it because I didn't want to give a runner extra time. Didn't use my timeout. Said, if, you, if you're cool with a field goal, I'm cool with it too because I don't feel like you'll keep getting down the field and I will definitely score more points. So second half starts. More of this guy, Walter Payton, holding the ball with one hand, X underneath him glowing. Uh, he's just kind of killing me, and there he goes. But Mike Evans is going to fight. Get yourself a Mike Evans golden ticket, lays out, stops him at the two-yard line. And he fought so we can have this goal line stand, and we're going to blow up this fullback dive for a loss of four. But Christian Okoye had different ideas. That could have been second and goal from the four. But Okoye fought, ran through Von Miller. Maybe I got to put Aaron Donald there at the end. Uh, maybe Von Miller doesn't have the boots to uh, play the end in 3-4. In maybe he's just an outside linebacker. But we have Von Miller there. Okoye went through. So now we're down three. How are we down three? Because we're down three. And we almost get baited there. But Evan Ingram fights, breaks up the pass. Uh, this is when this honestly is the best drive of weekend league for me. And I want you guys to watch this drive carefully because I'm going to take five minutes off the clock here. We're just going to take what's there. Third and three. We put a curl out out here. It just was not open. Uh, tried to swerve the spy, but we, you know, we didn't fumble because we're on conservative. You won't fumble on a sack in the pocket on conservative. Fourth down. Once again, that crossing route. Bring that receiver back. Use his body to shield off the DB. Caught the ball right there with Julio Jones. I'm just running, mixing it in. Uh, what's there? Once again, cover three. We hit the baby out route. There it is. Linebackers will not get out to cover 
uh, the outside wide receivers in cover three. They're, they just won't in 3-4. That's why 3-4 is kind of limited in its coverage because uh, the linebackers won't jump out there and make plays. Uh, here we try to step up and hit the crossing route, but I get shedded by Michael Strahan, a giant great. Um, here we go, a little... There it is. Linebackers cannot cover me. If you're not going to have abilities on a linebacker, I don't care if it's Barr, Bullock, they're not going to reach up and catch, the t knock the ball down. They're not going to do much of anything. And here we're closing in on the end of the third quarter. Out route again. Julio Jones. Boom. Time is ticking. Fourth quarter we get into. We're going to go ahead and dump this ball off to Ingram, but he drops that one. You see, cover three, there's so many holes in, in it. And I go for the post route here, but he covers it. Hit that little check down, that little underneath, and it's third down. So we're going to run blast, get a yard slide, stay safe. It is three minutes. We are closing in on the end of the fourth quarter. Just going to blast, get closer. This could be blast, fullback dive, dive, whatever it is. Every single run needs to take 30 seconds off the clock, and that's our goal here. Closing on a two-minute warning, third down. We're going to go ahead and punch it in finally, and that is a 17-play drive. 17 plays, 83 yards five minutes off the clock and weekend league that's pretty insane um and to do that just demoralizes your opponent it takes the ball out of their hands uh i don't know if progressive fatigue is a thing whereas the defense eventually got tired by the end of that drive but man they didn't have much will at the goal line there and i i need some will to tackle walter payton uh they were at the two minute warning now all we gotta do is tackle walter we see reggie white just getting blocked i feel like he breaks the tackle every play he's glowing when he's glowing, he's running through Shazier. Ramsey actually gets enough bodies around the ball. But like I said, we use so much time that time is against him a little bit as Lawrence Taylor gets the sack. But I honestly, I feel like he should have just kept running. Uh, we're down under 50 seconds left in the game. Goes for the in route there. Hits it to Torrey Holt. That is his first completed pass of the game. Uh, once again, everything boxed. He goes two post routes. Takes a terrible sack with Lawrence Taylor. This is why runners don't pass, man. But there he goes. There he goes. That man, Walter, breaking through a tackle. Brian Dawkins, Night Train, Mike Evans, Lawrence Taylor wrapping him up right there. Third and 18. Uh, we're scared to run. We're afraid to run. Even though there's 20 seconds left, he only has two timeouts. We're still afraid of Walter Payton. Going to rush four. Got a spy. Goes for the in route. But Jalen Ramsey, golden tickets, not having any of it. Fourth and 18. And fourth and 18 for a man with no passes is definitely going to be an interception. Acrobat lurker on this golden ticket, Calvin Johnson. That's going to end the game. Now, like I said, this game was great because simply for me because of that one drive. Uh, a 17-play drive taking what your opponent gives you. I don't know how many times I do the ball over 10 yards in that drive. Mixed in probably 10 runs, whether it be an inside zone or read option or a blast. Mixing up the entire playbook, really, and just you know, keeping them on their toes. But they, if someone runs the same defense, you can run the same coverage beaters all the time. I do that curl route a lot, the out route a lot, the crossing route a lot. Just You can mix it in, especially if they stay in the same thing. You know what to expect. You know what to time up. You know where to throw the ball. And that's pretty much how that game went. Uh, went stop stop Walter Payton. You win the game. Missed the field goal. Uh, it happens, man. It's hard being a streamer. Sometimes you lose uh, attention to detail. And you don't move the arrow before you kick. And uh, that, that's rough. you know. But like I said, it was a good game. One of the 50 games of Weekend League I play. So if you guys aren't checking these games live, please twist.tv slash dub. That link is below.